That's trippy, man. The um, council have just phoned Emily going, oh, housing like forms and stuff are going through, blah, blah, blah. And apparently they want to, they need to talk to me, but they keep like mugging me off. The old uh, was the old uh, Rice Lip Cinema, and then it was the Rice Lip Sainsbury's, Green Grocers. We used to get our sports stuff there as, ki as kids. If you don't mind, I'm nicking your lighter. No, now we're being palmed off around the houses. I'm going to press pause until we get to meet someone. Right, keep hold of that. Yeah, people have been following me around to uh, stalking Emily. Keep hold of that. I'm going to quickly put this in. Sorry, love. saying about the abuse stuff, but um, concern is the uh, health issues that have now arisen. So yeah, uh, we'll see, have to see what happens. But in all honesty, I have no faith. Available to take your call. Drivers. Your call is important to us. Thank you for waiting. Please continue to hold and we will answer it in the order it was. I must look like one of them people that are stalking me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll pause it. They, they may have left a voicemail and all that, but we have had these like weird phone calls like from my exes and that. It can't be anyone else. Well, come into the office, we need to speak to you. And when you get to the office, they're like kicking you out and punching your knuckles. <coughs> hmm. Nice boots. Fair enough, I've got a pair of nice magnets like that. There are still no agents available to take your call. Your call is important to us, and thank you for waiting. Not high-tech magnets, real magnets. Please Still on hold. Yeah, undercover cop I've seen him before. Yeah, keep staring at me, looking at me funny. Definitely a copper. You don't wear boots like that unless you're a copper man, definitely not. Right, yeah, that's a 
that's under cover, straight away that's under cover. They usually wear high techs or um, Adidas. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty interesting. Agents available to no take agents your call. Available. Your call is important Sorry, man, I'm going to pause this because it's going to get boring, but I have to kind of call because of the people hanging about. Where'd you get your Maggies, bruv? Huh? Where'd you get your Maggies? Maggies, Magnums. They're not Magnums? Nope. They're the exact same stitching, they're the exact same make and everything. They're just branded. Really? Savage Island. Off. Going to, going to my language, you're taking the piss out of me, man. Because you look at Trent. Oh, my days, yeah, fuck me. Yeah, it's yeah. All right. But, um, they have to put this, the actual company that makes them, does them for Magnums, and then sells them to Savage Island as well. Oh, right. Go on, go on Amazon. Yeah, nice. Uh, 20, 26 quid. Fuck. Oh, I paid £120. Pound. I was happy paying £120. Pound. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Oh, false. Oh, false. Nice one. Cheers, lads. Nice one. There are still no agents available to take your <laughs> in the Aldrich Hospital. Still on hold, man. And the little lady, she need, I've got to give her a phone back. I'm hanging around, I look like a muppet. There are still no agents available to take your call. The guy that keeps hanging around is hanging around again. I wonder what the fuck that person is holding. It's a freaking dog. <laughs> what the fuck's that? Oh, it's a dog. <laughs> Fair enough. There are still no agents available to take your call. Your call is important to us. Thank you for waiting. Please continue to hold and we will answer it in the order it was received. Yeah, still on hold. And I've been on hold for about, what? Is it sound squenches from... It's too bright, I can't see the screen properly. Not fair when squims, man. No, it looked like a proper copper. There are Going still no some flower shops. to take your call. Your call is important to us. Thank you for waiting. That was interesting. So this is why I have to record all the time, and most of them are actually quite boring. Looks like a copper's badge. A few coppers about. Really odd behaviour. You, you don't act like that. It's easy to spot anyone. It really is truly simple. It really is truly simple. You can have any car, any van, any writing, anything on the side of it doesn't mean to say that that van is what it is. Huh? How many, like, fishing tackle vans that are, like, just hanging around? Well, no fish are about. <laughs> the old mobile kebab houses and all that? Oh, man, you have no idea. These guys still aren't picking up. Apologies for any wait, how can I help? Um, hi, um, my partner was called for me to call you guys back. Okay, Is it, was it for homelessness or something? Yeah, something like that, about my uh, homelessness application because we've been unlawfully okay. evicted. I'm really upset, man, seriously. I've been asking help from Hillingdon for a long time, like... 
So did you, um, you've managed to get an application on the system. Would it be okay to ask your name so I can get it up and see who that was that maybe called? Yeah, it's Philip Keane. And all it is, really, is because you, I've only been made homeless because of the state of the house, which is no fault of mine. Um, I went through every avenue. There's no £20,000... People have gone through the £20,000 rent arrears through the forms. They don't add up. We've been, um, un, we, we've been mistreated. Um, that nobody I'm wanted... not a housing officer, Philip. Um, bear with me. Let me get your application up first. Is it in your name, the application, yeah? Both mine and Emily um, and Clark. OK, bear with me. Two seconds, OK, Philip? Thank you. Let me get up and see who it was that called you. All right, two seconds. All right, thank you. Okay to ask your date of birth, please. Yeah, Sorry. <laughs> 25th of the 2nd, 1981. Oh. There's a couple of cars here that have been hanging around near um, and following. The old Bill know about that anyway, but like following um, Emily Ann Clark. There's, see, this is we, we shouldn't have even been made homeless. We should have been found a place a long time ago uh, with vulnerable people. So, um, well, I haven't self harmed for a long, oh. long time. She's a self harmer. Um, she hasn't self harmed for a while. Um, yeah, the, the, the asbestos... So, Philip, got... do you know who... Fo OK, so somebody phoned Emily. Did they give their name or anything? No, they didn't. There's just a voicemail with a number to call you guys back. But normally they'd leave a name. Nope. This is it, right? I've had calls, yeah. Um, could you please come into the office? Could you please come into the office? We need to resolve the issues. We're willing to work with you. Um, uh, we're really sorry for the way that we've treated you. Police officers have made complaints about the treatment that we've had. Turns out they haven't complained about anything. Some have. Uh, bailiffs have complained about the way we've been treated, but they still have to do their job. And, um, yeah, people have gone through all the paperwork. There's no way that I so, owe £20,000. So okay, Philip, do you know if it was male or female? Um, because... It's just on the voicemail. I wouldn't be able to tell you, I'm afraid. I don't want to be judgmental on that, if you know what I mean. No, but a woman or a man, uh, yeah, just uh, trying to work out who it was that called you. Didn't leave, they didn't leave anything. No, it sounded female. Well, okay, all right. Bear with me, Philip, sorry. I'm just trying to find out who it was, all right? Two That's seconds. fine. All right, thank you. <laughs> Have a grand day, sir. Earlier on, I was kind of in his way. He was like, no, young man, you weren't in my way. And I was like, wow. Good man. Well, bless him. Bless his heart. See, people like that, you admire, man. You, you've got to love them. You've got to love them. Salute to the guy. Sorry? Is it under the social services side you're under, that's it, helping you? To be honest with you, um, I have no idea. Um, I've been ignored, like I say, I've been ignored. I've been down every avenue. 
Um, we keep getting these phone calls to come talk to you, come see you in the office, and then out of nowhere, I'm having security guards punch my knuckles, um, kicking me out of the office for no reason. All right, is, em- is em- Emily with you or anything? Uh, she's at work. She I have her phone, she? but she's in work, and I All can't right. just interrupt her. I- I'm standing on the corner looking like a white knobhead. <laughs> OK, um, are you able to listen to the voice message just to see if they actually do say anything again? No, that's it. Um, just could somebody, uh, uh, your how, your homeless application is um, something about the homeless application, that's it. OK. Philip, just remind me, you're the, um, something of February, 25th of Feb, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, 1981. Uh, 81, lovely. Thanks. Bear with me, two no seconds. No worries, All thank right. you. I'm so sorry, I'd rather hold on to you and get you through to the right person than... Well, so you, you've got to understand, to yeah, right? Um, I've been treated like absolute crap, yeah? I would like this in your head, please. Um, I was sexually abused by Hillingdon staff, police officers, um, for speaking out. They've taken my children. My children have been abused by the mothers, bitten on the face and pushed downstairs, used as body shields, you name it. Um, they've admitted domestic violence. One admitted domestic sexual abuse to a man. Um, one admitted stealing my children's money, um, uh, drugs and all kinds of things. Now, I've, I don't use drugs. I don't beat people up. I don't mug people. I don't rob people. Um, I don't I go around harassing people. People can harass me, and when I record it, put it up on YouTube or something like that, I'm the, I'm the one who's out of order. I've kind of had enough of this attitude that Hillingdon have had to me. There's no reason for it. So, like, the only reason they're doing it is because I've exposed a whole lot of stuff. There's no... All they had to do was return... Okay, Philip, 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 you need to slow down for me, honey. I have Mate, a my, to my head's all over the place, my lover, sorry. Oh, OK. Right, no, you're fine. I'm just trying to work out who it was that called you, all right? So bear with me, OK? Put me now, just doing my laces. I thought Lucy was a shit. <laughs> Fucking psycho. Someone picked up my bag earlier on, right? And they were like, come on, oh, that's heavy. And then they picked up the other bag. I carried two of them in one, and they were like, whoa. It's like, yeah, it's about um, 120 litres, that. Well, that bag there, this one here is... Well, not litres in pound weight. I'd say that would be about twenty pound in weight that Emily like took in, maybe twenty five pound in weight. And this is about no, this is weighed at twenty kilos. My bag that I carry around, and the bag that Emily's got is about fifteen kilos. So yeah, that was quite a good like mission actually. I've got to be honest with you. Walking down the road like a couple of miles with cancer. Right, bags on your back. It's good for the elf, that. I have walked miles. I've walked literally until I've had blood with every step coming out of the side of my trainers. Like, I shit you not. So blood was pissing out. Of my I trainers. think it's, it's, uh, it's the sun to the side of it, so let me get you over to that. Alright, Sorry? Alright. Social services side of it, I need to get you over to, okay? Okay, no worries, thank you. Alright, thank you. Thanks thank so you. much. Hope you get sorted, alright, no problem. Come to the London Borough of Hillingdon. You are through to the Hillingdon Social Care Direct Line. <laughs> Your call may be recorded for training and quality purposes. Well, this will be interesting. You will now hear four options. Oh, what? Please listen to all the options before making your selection. Oh. For children's social care, press 1. For blue badge and green card, press 2. For fostering and adoption, press 3. <laughs> fostering and adoption. For adult social care, press 4. Fostering and adoption, like kidnapping and selling kids, yeah. Good afternoon, you're through Taylor. How may I help you? Um, hello. Uh, my partner had a phone call to contact you guys. Let me try and have a look. Um, can I get your... So is it regards to your partner? Uh, no, me and my partner. 
Okay. Can I get your date of birth, please? Yeah, 25th of the 2nd, 1981. And can I get your name? Yeah, Philip Keane. And can I get your partner's name? Emily Ann Clark. Just trying to have a look now.